हेलो एंड अस्सलाम वालेकुम दिस इज कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लेक्चर नंबर 28 एंड इन दिस पार्ट ऑफ द लेक्चर वी विल सी एन एग्जांपल इन व्हिच वी विल डिजाइन अ विंड पावर प्लांट सो द स्पेसिफिकेशंस फॉर अ रिक्वायर्ड विंड पावर प्लांट डिजाइन आर एज फॉलोस दैट वी हैव टू डिजाइन अ विंड पावर प्लांट फॉर अ 5 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर साइट with elevation from the sea level of 400 meters and the mean speed of uh, wind that flows uh, or blows in that particular region for which uh, we have to design our plant is also given and it is 12 meter per second the site is a terrain with uh, foot high grass on level ground so uh, Uh, we will use the uh, table uh, that has different uh, values of alpha for different uh, uh, sites uh, we will be using that table the uh, plant should produce 438 gigawatt hours annu annually at the capacity factor of 45% with commercially available uh, towers uh, we have to choose from 65 meter 90 meter and 100 meter towers and 110 meter towers and 125 meter towers that are uh, readily available in uh, market so uh, now we come towards the solution selecting the height of the tower at uh, 100 uh, meters nor to high nor to low now we can calculate the projected wind speed at Uh, this height uh, with this formula uh, where v2 is the uh, projected wind speed uh, at a height of 100 meter uh, we have been specified that uh, we are uh, ele elevated from the sea level for 400 meters so uh, we add uh, the h1 as 400 and when we calculate the h2 h2 will be uh because we are using a 100 meter tower we will add uh, uh, 100 in 400 for uh, calculating the height h2 so the height h2 will be uh, 500 uh, meters also the frictional coefficient uh, alpha that can be seen for uh, foot high grass on ground level let me see uh, uh, from the table it is Uh, defined foot high grass on level ground the frictional coefficient alpha is defined as 0.15 now let's continue with our example uh, the alpha is put it over here and substituted over here and its value was 0.15 we have calculated the wind speed at a height of uh, 500 meters where for h2 is calculated as 12. Four one meters per second. Now we calculate the air density at 500 meter above uh, the uh, sea level. That is given by the formula. Density of the air is uh, this multiplied by e power minus 0.297 multiplied by height in meters divided by 3048. So the value of uh, raw knot or the density at sea level is given uh, defined by this multiplied by e power minus we have put uh, substituted the height in meter that was h2 over here and its uh, value for the air density at 500 meters above the sea level is uh, calculated to uh, 1.167 kilograms per cubic meter now we consider the rotor efficiency of 40 to 50% and we choose uh, 50% uh, uh, cp or the rotor efficiency uh, the specific uh, uh, power uh, is then calculated using the formula psp that was the uh, directly related to the cube of the uh, uh, velocity of the wind speed so uh, at uh, v2 v2 is calculated over here that is 12.41 So one by two times uh, CP, the rotor efficiency, we chose it to be about 0.5 multiplied by uh, the rho that is calculated to be about 1.167 written over here multiply by uh, 11 uh, 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 1911.24 that is the cube of uh, the 
uh, we do the uh, so uh, the specific power when cal calculated equals to be about 557.60 watt per meter square so keeping the uh, rotor diameter between uh, to uh, within 70 to 90 percent of the tower height and choosing uh, 80 meter um, rotor diameter the rotor swept area can be calculated uh, by uh, the multiplying pi uh, pi by 4 with uh, the uh, square of the diameter of that uh, wind turbine which uh, comes out to be 5026.55 uh, 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 meter square so therefore the power generated by one turbine uh, by, uh, can be calculated by multiplying these uh, uh, and it is around uh, 2.8 uh, uh, megawatt we have uh, calculated uh, this uh, power generated uh, from one turbine by multiplying the specific power and the uh, rotor swept area which were calculated to be 557 and 5026 uh, uh, so uh, it can be calculated at uh, 2.8 uh, uh, megawatt so now let's continue with our design uh, the actual energy produced by a single unit uh, we have 45% uh, uh, of that and uh, we can calculate as, as 0 0.45 multiplied by uh, 2800 multiplied by 8760 uh, kilowatt hours that is 11.038 uh, uh, gigawatts now the number of turbines uh, required uh, for uh, this much generation is calculated by dividing uh, by uh, dividing uh, uh, by 11.038 and it is rounded up to about uh, 40 turbines that is the total uh, requirement now let's calculate the uh, uh, if it uh, satisfies the uh, we will calculate the uh, a a uh, area with respect to our site that is defined to be about five square kilometers the turbines should be placed uh, uh, Two to four times the rotor diameter apart in crosswind direction and they should be 8 to 12 meters the rotor diameter apart in uh, wind direction so placing 10 turbines in uh, crosswind uh, direction or uh, to 40 meter apart and the three times the rotor diameter and the four turbines in a wind direction uh, 800 meter apart 10 times the uh, rotor diameter uh, so these are the limits uh, based on uh, if we recall uh, the shadow effect of uh, wind on other wind turbines so these two parameters have been uh, considered 2 to 4 and 8 to 12 uh, the 3 is in between 2 to 4 and uh, 10 is between uh, 8 to 12 so uh, we will uh, require a total area of 10 multiplied by 0 0.24 and 4 multiplied by uh, uh, 0 0.8 so the area calculated using uh, this uh, 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 these parameters uh, uh, the uh, crosswind direction of 240 uh, and uh, 800 meters uh, the uh, total required area is uh, around 7.68 uh, square kilometer but uh, this uh, area is the is basically uh, greater than the uh, area that is provided to, for the design of wind power plant that was around uh, 5 kilometers so our answer should be uh, less than uh, uh, 5 or equal to uh, 5 so that uh, the uh, area limits are not violated so uh, in order to meet the area requirements we must uh, bring uh, the wind turbines a little closer so placing the 10 turbines in cross uh, wind uh, direction uh, 160 meters apart uh, as compared to the previous selection that was 24 uh, to 40 meters apart uh, that is twice uh, the uh, rotor diameter and four turbines in uh, wind direction uh, six 
40 meters apart uh, that is lesser as compared to the previous selection that was around 800 meter uh, now this is eight times the rotor di uh, diameter well uh, now uh, we have again uh, using uh, these uh, selections 160 and uh, the uh, 640 we have uh, taken into account the uh, preferences that the minimum preferences that uh, the turbine should be spaced two to four times so we have uh, a, a selection uh, 160 meters apart uh, have we have uh, that is the uh, twice the rotor diameter and in uh, 8 to 12 times the rotor diameter apart uh, means we have uh, in a selection of 640 meters apart that is uh, 8 times the rotor diameter so in both the cases, uh, in X direction, crosswind direction, and uh, in the uh, wind direction, we have uh, taken into account the lower limits, the two and eight, uh, for calculating uh, these parameters. So the total area, considering 160 meter and uh, 640 meters, uh, are uh, calculated as 10 multiplied by 0 0.16 and 4 multiplied by 0 0.64. The area is about 4.1 uh, kilometers. Now, uh, uh, taking these into account, we uh, can clearly see that we had an uh, area of about uh, 5 kilometers, and using these parameters, we have uh, waste land of 4. Point, uh, uh, of approximately 0 0.9 kilometers, which could have been. Uh, used and uh, uh, placing the windmills closer uh, can basically hinder their performance by casting a shadow. So uh, we will uh, again uh, uh, take into consideration that uh, placing 10 turbines in the crosswind direction twice the rotor uh, diameter that is the lower uh, lower limit and uh, now we will uh, uh, in uh, uh, in uh, choosing the uh, wind uh, the basic uh, uh, distance uh, requirement of uh, 9.5 for the uh, uh, wind direction uh, separation that is around 760 meters the required area is around 4.86 which is quite satisfactory so uh, how to beat the area requirement first of all uh, we following uh, follow the uh, following steps uh, the first of which is reduce the spacing between the turbines if uh, possible so that uh, if there is any sh a shadow effect we can uh, minimize uh, the second one is increase the uh, rotor diameter and the third one is uh, we can increase the uh, tower height